Hi peeps, Captain here, Paul as I'm otherwise known. <coughs> so um, we're almost there. When I say we're almost there, what I mean is we're almost at the start line. Because <coughs> you've still got a, a few days to go yet. But that means also that there's still time for you to donate. Now, we've had a lot of people who have uh, helped us out and supported us since we started this. Um, we've had a lot of people do videos for us, um, celebrities, singers, runners, um, all sorts of people, um, actors as well. <coughs> and we're grateful for your support. We're also grateful for the support of Morrison's and Europe Car have donated a car for us to be able to use during this time and Morrison's have donated all the water, healthy snacks and energy bars to, to get us through. But we still need your support. We've raised a fair amount of money so far, but it isn't the target we wanted to reach. I think obviously because of uh, this whole COVID-19 thing, people being furloughed, people losing their jobs and struggling financially has, um, has hit everyone, including us. <clears throat> and it's hit small charity, other small charities too. But please look, some of you are still going to work and you still buy a coffee on the way to work. Now that coffee, I don't know, three, four, five pounds, some of these fancy coffees. As about next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, instead of buying your coffee, you put that five pound into Challenge 72. We've got a Just Giving page. All the information will be on the end of this video that Jim will kindly put on there. <coughs> you can put the money to anyone, any one of the six of us that are doing it. And that will go, if there was a hundred of you who did that, that would be great. I don't mind how many of you do it, so long as at least one of you just puts that money there. That just adds to our total and to the total that we're, we're going to put to the Grenfell Foundation. Now all the money goes to support the community in the surrounding area of Grenfell. Who many of them who are still in temporary accommodation even now three years on and uh, squashed into little rooms families and stuff like that it's ridiculous when you think about it the cladding on that building is still on buildings around the country simply because they can't be bothered to do anything about it no one has taken responsibility still for this we know who's responsible i'm not going to go into the politics of it all but the fact is that 72 people lost their life on that day. Now, <clears throat> this is the third, this is the third time that we've done anything for, for the people in Grenfell, <coughs> the surrounding community of Grenfell. And this is probably the biggest challenge, Challenge 72, because we're walking 72 miles, over 72 hours, and a couple of lads are carrying 72 pound. A pound for each one of those lives that was lost. It's no mean feat, trust me. Um, I wouldn't be able to carry it because I broke my back a few years back, and I know that I just wouldn't be able to. I wouldn't be able to do the day, let alone all three days. But I'm still doing the walk. I'm still there supporting the team. But it's going to be tough. It's not going to be easy. And like I said. You can still support us as we're going along. Okay, you can still put your money in. You can get your friends, tell all your friends about it. Get them to put some money in. Our target was 7,200. It would be great if we reached that target. It really would. Because, like I said, there's still a lot of people that are struggling with many different issues. You know, and the children around that area who look around their classrooms and see that... <clears throat> that one of their friends isn't in the seat that they used to sit in 
<coughs> excuse me, people who go down to the local shops and don't see that friend that I used to see on a daily basis because they're no longer here. Um, they suffer. They suffer the mental trauma of that. Yeah, you know, we all saw it on the telly and all had an effect on us, but they lived that moment. They live that moment still. And um, it's got to be tough for them because it was tough for me just witnessing it the very first time that I, I saw the building. So I'm asking you, please donate. Please support us. Please support them. Thank you.